Welcome to another video from the series How to Animate. Like in the first episode, I showed you how to recreate this animation from this boogie, and today I will show you how I animated this flower. The original idea is from the talented artist Yuan de la Fontaine. I will put below in the description his Instagram so you can check out his awesome work. The project files can be downloaded for free, you can find them on my Patreon in the free projects collection and if you want to access more exclusive stuff and also support me, you can consider joining the full membership with a 7 days free trial. The breakdown will consist of 4 parts. Part 1, the petals. Part 2, the vine, the leaves and the stars. Part 3, the twin and the butterfly. Part 4, the final touches. Part 1, the petals. We start here in Illustrator where I've created this circle using the gradient tool and the freeform gradient type and then I've created 6 points here and for each of the points we have a color and a spread and I will put on the screen the hex codes for the colors and the spreads so you can just copy paste them and then I've also added an inner glow effect with mod overlay and blur 8 pixels. Then we need to go to object and then repeat radial. Then for the number of instances I've selected 6 and for the angle 215 then we need to separate each circle individually so we can do that by going to object then expand press ok then we need to ungroup these circles so right click and ungroup then select each circle and let's change the angle to zero degrees i will do that for every circle and now we need to prepare this to import them in After Effects, so select all the circles, then go to this burger menu right here, then release to layers sequence, then select all the layers, drag them outside, select layer 1, then we can delete it, and now we have all these layers ready to be imported in After Effects. Then in the new file I've created another big circle with the same freeform gradient, I will put on the screen the color and the spread for every point so you can just copy paste them. So here in After Effects I have my circles imported from Illustrator, you can do that by right clicking, then import file, then select your file, and for the import kind select composition, for the footage dimension select layer size, and you'll have all your layers right here, and all you have to do is to make them 3D, then create a new layer, make it 3D as well, then select all the layers and link them to the new layer then for the new layer select the x rotation and make it minus 70 degrees and then for all the other layers select the x rotation and make it 90 degrees so for this one for this one as well so basically for every other layer and then for the animation we have keyframes for the z rotation for the 07 and we start from zero and then after 4 seconds we have a full rotation, so one here. And then for the other layers we have animation on the Y rotation, so we start at 0. And after 4 seconds we have another full rotation but in the other direction, so basically it's minus 1 here. And now the animation looks something like this, so basically it looks like it's 3D but it's not. So now let's go to the next composition, part 2, the vine, the leaves and the stars. For this second composition, if I go to composition settings, you can see that I've made it very tall with a height of 3000 pixels. Then I've created a shape layer and for the actual pet, I went to illustrator, I've created a straight line with a stroke of 10 points and then I made it zigzag by going to effect, distort and transform and then zigzag. Then I selected it, copy it with command C, then back in after effects, select the pad and paste it with command V. Then I've also added some effects, so first one is gradient ramp, you can see the first point is here at the bottom, the other one is here at the top, then I've added a colorama effect, and then I've also added a bit of fast box blur and sharpen to fix the rough edges for the vine. Then in terms of layer styles, I have a bit of inner shadow and if I zoom in here, you can see the inner shadow, the white line on the right and also bevel and emboss, you can see it right here in the middle of the vine. And I've animated the angle property for both of the effects to have the lines moving along the vine. And then I wanted to trace this pad, so in order to do that, you can go to Window, Create Nulls from Pads then select the actual pad 
right here and then trace path and you will have a null layer this one right here is called trace vine for my case and basically you have the progress property which is animated from 100 percent all the way to zero percent next i've added the petals composition let me enable it and i've scaled it down to 30 percent then i position it right at the bottom of the vine then i've linked it to the trace vine null layer and then i've also made it loop with a time remap for four seconds so basically now we have the petals rotating and animating along the vine next i wanted to create a mask that will cut out the vine that's over the flower and just let visible the vine that's under the flower so in order to do that i went and created another shape layer and if I enable it, this is basically just a big rectangular white shape. And I've linked this to the trace vine null layer. And in this way, we have the rotation and the position of the null layer. And then if you go to vine layer and for the track mat, select the vine mask. Now we basically have only the flower and the vine that's below the flower. So next I have here seven stars. And if I enable them, you can see, let me zoom in, so one is here, then we have another one here, and so on. So basically I have seven variation of stars where I animated the opacity. And the last thing I have here, it's the leaves composition, let me enable it, and also go inside this composition and let me explain you how I created this. So here I have seven leaves, but I will show you only the first one because the rest are the same. And if I check the properties here, so basically the first layer is the line in the middle and the second one is the actual leaf. And you can see that I've animated the pet. And this is going from nothing to a full leaf. And then I've also animated the rotation to give it a bit more credibility. And then for the line, I've animated the scale to go from zero to 100% and basically the rest are the same and you can see how they appear one after the other now if we go back to the main composition this is basically what we have so far now let's go to the third composition to create the other flower and the butterfly part three the twin and the butterfly for the pre-final composition i have included the main composition and then i've animated the position property in order to have the flower at the same level the entire animation then i've duplicated the main layer called it over flipped it horizontally and then i've linked the position to the position of the main layer then you can see i have three over layers and then four under layers and basically all these layers are the same main composition but i've trimmed them in order to have the flower one over the other so basically if you pay attention to the right one now it's below the other one and in the next loop it's over and then it's below and then it's over again next i've added a deep glow effect with opacity of 55 percent and then i've added multiple layers with butterflies let's go inside the butterfly composition now for the butterfly i have three layers two for the wings and one for the body and i've made the layers 3d and then i've animated the y rotation for the wings and we have basically something like this for now then i've linked all these three layers to the null layer and i've animated the y rotation for the null layer with an expression of time multiplied by 45 and now we basically have a rotation of the butterfly plus the rotation of the wings let's go back to the pre-final composition and let's enable all these layers and here i've animated the position for each of the butterfly and now we have the butterflies in action part four the final touches so finally the last composition and for this one i have a background layer with a gradient ramp effect and the color on my effect then i have a black background again and for this one i've created a big mask with a feather of about 625 pixels then i've added the pre-final composition then i have a beam light layer here and this is basically an adjustment layer to which I've added the beam effect. And I think you can see it better right here over the flower. And this is achieved by animating the starting point, the ending point and the opacity. 
something like this. Then I have a stylized layer and for this one I have a bit of Gaussian blur and sharpen and if I zoom in here you can see that it makes the animation look a bit more traditional and not so digital. Then I have a noise layer with a noise HLS effect and the last one it's an overlay layer just to add a bit of texture to the final animation. And let's not forget the most important part, so the music background. And the final animation looks something like this. That's all for this video, remember to check out the Patreon for the free project files, hope you enjoyed it, see you in the next one.